Today, we're going to tell you why the people bashing a so-called controversial take are total morons. Let's go. Roll the intro. All right, all right. Yo, yo, yo. Coming to you live from Philly. It's the number one rated Paulie and Tony Fusco show. Yo, yo. Yo. As always, Polly Fusco here with Tony Fusco and Tony. Yo. It's like deja vu all over again, isn't yep. it? You know, another Philly team. Doing it again. Just blowing straight through the postseason. Yep. The Sixers about to roll the Celtics. You know, Absolutely. all the naysayers, like our guest today, just Ugh. proving that they're all full of hot air. Exactly. This is why they say to air is human. Yeah, exactly. And so yep. true. And, you know, last week we totally shut down the so-called voice of Philly sports. Yeah, right. Mike Missinelli. Oh, that guy, and, clown. Uh, today we're going after uh, one of the so-called great Philly sports writers, Please. you know, maybe up until Please. this year. Because, yeah. you know, he's been covering the Sixers for the decades now, but now he's just doing it so terribly. Yeah, it's sad that, to see. Uh, we're going we're gonna to need to bring him on and just knock some sense into him. Yep. Uh, his name's Keith Pompey. And, uh, yeah, we're going to bring up a prediction he made at the start oh. of the year that is just totally backfiring yeah. on him. He's looking foolish right now. Yeah, Let's totally. just say that. Terrific segue there, Tony, because Thank you. on the subject of looking foolish, you know, there are so many fools out there who mismanage their money. Oh, so that's why horrible. right now it's time for a word from our good friends at Crypto.com. Do you want to make $100 million? Well, of course you do. That's why you should use Crypto.com. Yeah, just go look at their website. It says right there on the front page, trusted by 80 m users worldwide and the m stands for millionaires stop putting your money in banks that can get robbed and make smarter choices like yep. investing your money in crypto and board ape yacht club nfts do it all at crypto.com all Great right well, uh, now that we got that business out of the way let's get right into it tony with our top story top story all right, our top story, the NBA playoffs. The Sixers just rolling through the Celtics, as we told you. And uh, the Lakers also losing game five to the Warriors, which is, you know, what I read the next morning because I didn't stay up to watch that game. You, Tony? No chance. Way too late. Well, anyway, who cares? You know, it exactly. was the story before the Lakers-Warriors game, which was much more interesting. Yep. ESPN's Mike Greenberg, just coming off the top rope with a terrific take, right? He said the Lakers should rest their starters in game five so they'd be ready for game six. Here, play that clip. I'm going down with the ship on this theory. The Lakers have no chance of winning game five of the series. The Warriors are going to be playing for their dynasty at home with the crowd. They're going to win. Don't waste any of LeBron and AD's energy on this game. Wow. wow. Solid. That makes sense. Makes sense. That was clearly the right strategy, what yep. he said here. And, you know, it proves what we've been saying on this show for, you know, more than two decades now. You know, when you want to hear the right strategy, the smart strategy, the last people you should listen to are the coaches and trainers on the team. Too close. The people yep. who know best are the people like us. Yep. People like Mike Greenberg, our colleague yes. in this industry. You know, yep. Greenberg, you see, he Big has picture. the perspective here because, you know, he's not all up with the team. Exactly. He's in a TV studio 3,000 miles away. Yep. That's the place to be. Absolutely. You know, those coaches, they're just too inside. Isn't that right, Tony? You know, this reminds me of when I went to visit the Grand Canyon. Everybody's looking around and I'm like, I don't get it. What's the big deal? But then when I got back home and watched a VHS called America's Natural Wonders shot from a helicopter above the canyon floor, there sitting in my living room at home, I could finally appreciate the majesty of this earth and creation. Just so well done putting that in such terrific and clear perspective for our audience there, Tony. Just well Thank done. You. And, you know, it just proves so clearly why we should listen to the wisdom of Mike Greenberg Absolutely. and also us. And, you know, Absolutely. that's why right now we're going to look at the camera right here, Tony. We're looking right at yeah, the Sixers straight organization. To yep. You got this game six coming up. The clear answer is to just rest all your yep. players. Rest Forfeit them up. if you want to. It's yep. the smart way yep. and just rest up 
for Get that decisive game seven. There you go. Just great a great strategy, strategy yep, right, Donnie? Absolutely. Well said. Perfect. Yeah. Well, let's move over to the NFL, where there's just a fascinating story, Tony. Colts owner Jim Ursay has accused the Washington Commanders of tampering yeah, after the team saw this. allegedly called retired Colts quarterback Andrew Luck to woo him out of retirement. Yeah, now, interesting. He, he really got a hand it to the Commanders. Absolutely. Here, you? You know, they're leaving no stone unturned. You know, I guess if you can't win with Carson Wentz, well, the only next best option is a guy with no spleen who hates football. So, so, you know, yeah. since Andrew Luck is apparently off limits, what we're going to do here is, you know, we decided to help the commanders and come up with a list of similar options for quarterbacks for them. So here, yeah, let's bring let's up that it. graphic. All right, first, RG3, you know, drafted the same year as Luck, knows the yep. organization, Perfect which fit. is so key, you know, knowing yeah. the organization. Familiar. Next on the list, an obvious choice. Alex Smith. Oh, yeah. You know, Great one. Uh, sources tell us his one functioning leg is still working pretty well. Absolutely. And obviously, he knows the organization, which Again. is so key. He got uh, familiarity. Next on the list, another great name, Mark Rippon. He's also, wow. you know, he's already led Washington to two Super Bowls. Yep. He's only 60. You know, people are working these days into their 70s now. And so, 80s, you know, yeah. You just bring them in and there you go. Exactly. And he's got a winning pedigree. And, and, and finally, our last name, Joe Theismann. Yep. You know, he's got tremendous veteran experience there. Yep. And, uh, you know, it'll be one of the greatest comebacks of all time. You know, with the miracles of modern science, what they can do these days with artificial legs. You know, maybe you put them on like one of those avatar things that the guy had in Avatar. Absolutely. Tony, if the co- if the players are already wearing that much equipment, really, when you think about it, what's, what's steel legs and padding? What extra is that? You know? Exactly. It's nothing. All right. Let's move to another controversy out of the NFL. Uh, you know, people, they're already up in arms about this uh, NFL schedule because yeah, it includes a, a Friday night game. For the first yeah. time, they're going to be playing on Black Friday, November 24th. And, yep, uh, yep saw know, that. People are saying that adding another night of football, as they always do, they say it adds to the injury risk, you know, yeah, puts I read players that in danger. Yep. You know, we listen on this show to complaints. Yeah, we course. hear the people. Yep. And, but what we do that, that separates us is we come up with solutions. And, and Tony, you said something the other day that was just so smart. It was just such a simple solution. Go, go yeah. tell the people. Here's my solution. If the players need more days to rest, then there's clearly a simple fix. Add more days to the week. Smart. If weeks had eight days instead of seven, there would be no problem. So yep. I propose that during NFL season, we add a day called Moose Day, which comes between Monday and Tuesday. Now, you're probably saying, won't this add more days to the year? No, because no. you just simply remove 17 days from August. Nobody likes August anyway. It's boring and hot and everyone's over it. So there, add Moose Day plus take away half of August. Problem solved. Just an absolutely brilliant solution by you, Tony. And Thank you. Don't be surprised, people, when September rolls around and you're all rushing out to buy new calendars. Yeah, and get used to saying TGIM. Yeah, Moose Day. There you yeah, go. Get right, ready. From that brilliance to one of the most pathetic stories, not just out of the NFL, Tony, but in all the sports. Of course, I'm talking about the reports that the Chiefs are planning to restructure Patrick Mahomes' contract oh, to make pathetic. him the Pathetic. highest paid player in the NFL. Now, we all know why this is happening, don't we, Tony? You know, oh, yeah, it's not because he wants to top Lamar Jackson, nope. who's now the highest paid player. It's because he wants to top Jalen Hurts, who bingo. for a few short weeks was the NFL's highest yep, paid bingo. player after the Eagles gave him that much deserved contract. Now, people out there, they're saying, well, Mahomes, well, he should be the highest paid player because he beat Hurts in the Super Bowl. Oh, really? But did he? Did he, people? No. You know, when looking at the outcome, you, 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 you lay people, you always want to compare offense to defense. But what you got to do is compare offense to offense. Isn't that right, there, Tony? There you see, you when go. you do that, there you, you see, go. Hertz beat Mahomes soundly. Hertz, hey, look at these stats here. Hertz had four touchdowns, Mahomes had three. There you go. You look at passing yards. Yeah, Hertz had 304. Mahomes had a lowly 182. Wow, keep going. And then, going. of course, the most important stat, of course, I'm talking about two-point conversions. Hertz had one, Mahomes, goose egg. 
zero. And that just seals it right there, doesn't it, Tony? As they say, the game is won on the goal line. They do. They yeah. do. Well, I'd love to discuss this more, Tony, but uh, it's time to get our guest on the line here and bring him on the uh, Fusco Wait, satellite. No. Hold on, Polly. What? Wait. Well, it's not time for corrections. What? Yeah, what are you doing no. talking? What are you doing? He's not on the line. Well, did, Pompey? Did, did you confirm with him? Yes. You know, did you just, did you just, are you making this up so you get more airtime? Is that what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, that's what's going on here. Put Pompey, no. Keith, are you there, Keith? He's not there. So you're saying that Keith Pompey is not coming on the show today? Unbelievable. No. Whatever. We don't need him, Pompey. You know, you talk about a beat writer, Tony. Yeah, I think he's going to be, be a beat, beat up writer, writer after this. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be beaten up writer. I think we're going to have to go over to Keith Pompey's house. Yeah. And uh, not just give him a sixes report. We're going to give him an 86s report. Yeah. If you catch my drift, we're going to kill him. Exactly. You know what's going on here, Tony, is that he's chickening out. Yeah. Because uh, he knows that we know that in his uh, season predictions at the beginning of the season, he said the Sixers weren't going to get past the second round. Unbelievable. And that the Celtics were still the better team. And uh, look, now he, now he can't own up to it. Oh. Pathetic. While, while we have this moment, Tony, since we have this airtime, maybe we should just have a little word with Keith there, right? I guess, you know, what's going on, Tony, is these writers, you know, they're sitting there writing, they're, they're taking their time with their writing. Yeah. You oh, know, and exactly. They get, no, don't, don't, turn off the phones. I can't have yeah. anyone contact oh, I me. Can't. I need to take two days to write my report about the game. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Listen, Keith, game's already taken place. The next game's probably yeah. going to be over. By the exactly. Time. Yeah, he's probably still home writing about game one. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, everybody. I got my game one article done. Yeah, yeah don't worry. Here it yeah, comes. Six thousand six words. Already. Yeah. yeah. You know, Tony, this kind of behavior, unprofessional behavior, yeah. it, it can't go unpunished. Can't. No. And you know, there's something that you and I we've discussed off air privately for years. You you know yep. what I'm talking about, Tony. Yep, it's and, you know, time. I, it's I think time. Maybe it's it's time. Yep. That we share this with the audience out there. We've never done yep. this on air, but you know, certain certain measures at certain times call Look, for certain measures or yeah, whatever. There's got to be repercussions for this. They, they have to. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you right now our Fusco list. Yeah, uh, pull it up. These are all the people who have wronged us through the years. Of course, number one you gotta have on the list Tom Brady. Oh, just any list. Yeah, you gotta have. He's Tom gotta be Brady a part of it, it whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number two, uh, Donovan McNabb yep. didn't show up to the show as he you all worked know. hard to get on this list too. Yeah, yep. it, yeah. Now and also he threw up in the Super Bowl. Yeah, so, there was that uh, there's too. That Not too. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number three, Ben Simmons. And, oh yeah. You know, th this to be clear, this is not just a sports. This no, is, this is know, a bigger life. Just general life. Ben Simmons. Yeah. Yeah. Covers, absolutely. covers all areas there. Yes, it does. Uh, number four, of course, Sammy Hagar ruined oh, Van Halen. Ruined Van Halen. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. F him. Yeah. Nobody wants their songs screeched. Yeah. yeah. Everything's Could this screeching be love? with him. Could this be a horrible version of Van Halen? Exactly. Well said, yeah. Tony. And now look Thank who's you. on our list. Put him up there. Keith Pompey. He there earned he is. it. We used to call, uh, you know, not showing up for the show uh, a McNabb. A McNabb. Yeah. yeah. But now maybe no, nah, it's still a McNabb. It's still a it's McNabb. It's still a McNabb. He Pompey's close. Well, Pompey's but, close. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, not maybe quite when at Keith, McNabb levels. Yeah. Maybe when Keith Pompey is done writing his article. Yeah, he's know, still in, talking in, about game one. Yeah, maybe he maybe he'll come on the show. Exactly. Anyway. What do you want to do now, Tony? What should we do? You know, look, it was still a terrific show otherwise. It was, it was perfect. It was a terrific yeah. show. And, uh, yeah. We're not going to we let him wanna, ruin it. We, we don't want to let him ruin it. No. Nope. In fact, he probably made it better by not showing up. Great, you know, great you point. It, Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to make everything better on that note, Tony, go to crypto.com, invest yeah, your money. Yeah, the oh, best. Oh, Thank hold you. on. Oh. Are you kidding me? If it isn't somebody I'd like to stick in a crypto... Oh, Producer yeah, what? Jay. What do you want? Corrections. 
Why? Why? Go. You guys keep saying that Jalen Hurts outplayed Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. Yeah, check the numbers, bro. Yeah. The only number that matters is turnovers. Mahomes had zero. Jalen Hurts' one fumble cost him the game. Oh, yeah? Well, zero is going to be your heart rate after I bludgeon you. Yeah. Let's just say you're not going to make it Mahomes alive tonight. Yeah. Oh, great. Count on that. Yeah. We're done. No more. Let's go. No, no, no. no. Why? Hurry up. You said Mark Rippon led the commanders to two Super Bowls. Yeah. Check Wikipedia. Yeah, it's right there, bro. Mark Rippon won two Super Bowls, but he didn't lead them to both. He was the backup to Doug Williams when he won the first one. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, after the show, I'm going to be ripping your throat open. Yeah. I'm going to lead my foot straight into your balls. Yeah. Oh, good one, Dolly. You're Got done. Him. No, no, no. Let's no. get at it. Last oh, one. Hurry up. You said that when Crypto.com says they have 80 M users, that stands for 80 millionaires. Yeah, bro. Crazy. Yeah, very impressive, bro. Yep. It doesn't stand for millionaires. It stands for million. That's totally obvious. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you're not going to be able to stand. After I hobble you. Yeah. And you know what else is also 80 million? The number of women who've rejected you. Oh, oh you're done. Then, you finished. He yeah. shit poorly. Oh, but look at this, Tony. We're not done here because we have big news. The NFL's hottest free agent is going to be joining us next week. That's right. Super Bowl legend, Eagles quarterback, Nick Foles. Coming wow. on the show. Huge. Cannot wait for that. Huge. Anyway, remember, follow us on TikTok. Subscribe on the YouTube. Yeah. Listen to the back episodes in our pod feed. And Tony, great job as always. Same to you, Paulie. Another flawless show. There you go. We'll see you people next week. See ya.